Hey guys, welcome to the channel. My name is Joey Mandarino. Today we're going to be working on muscle ups. So the first thing you need to be thinking about when you're learning how to do a muscle up is how to swing. That's going to be the most fundamental piece to your skill. So when you're swinging, you need to think legs straight and push the hands away from wherever your feet are. So if I'm in my front swing with the feet are in front, hands are going to be behind me. If I'm in my back swing where the legs are behind me, hands will be in front. So I'll demonstrate that right here. So I'll keep my legs straight. I'll start to swing. My arms are gonna stay nice and relaxed. I'm gonna push my arms away from my feet. So like I said, when I was on the rings, one of the other important aspects of the swing is to make sure your shoulders are relaxed. So you're going to need really good shoulder mobility to even be able to do that. I see a lot of people tense up in their swing, they really tighten the shoulders. Um, Got to be nice and relaxed. And the way to help that is to increase your thoracic spine mobility, uh, your lat flexibility, and just shoulder flexibility in general. Alright, so now the most important part of the muscle up that a lot of people miss and a lot of coaches don't teach is hip drive. So when you're doing a muscle up, a lot of people think you need to just have a really big swing and your legs going up is just going to drive you up above the rings. What you actually need is a good hip pop and that will throw your body vertically up above the rings. So I'm going to demonstrate that just in my swing. So I'll go into my swing, I'll start off with a regular swing. When I'm ready to practice the hip drive, I'm going to leave my feet down and open the hips. Just like this. So the sequence of events in your hip drive, it's gonna start with you hitting the bottom of the swing, going towards the front. Your feet will tap through the bottom, will come up a little bit. When you're ready to pop the hips, you're gonna leave the feet down. Really open the hips as aggressively as you can. And then as you get higher above the rings, once you pass three level, you're gonna bend the hips again, you're gonna pike, and that should pop you up on top. So the reason I don't think this gets talked about enough when people are being taught the muscle up is because there's different ways to execute this hip hop. Um, in one version, which is what I just did, the feet stay relatively low. The other version, which a lot of higher level CrossFit athletes do, and a lot of people do when they're learning the muscle up, is they'll actually get their feet up to horizontal, then they'll leave the feet in that same position, they'll open the hips, and then snap them back to get on top. So I'll demonstrate that one as well. So the last part of the muscle up I'm gonna talk about is the action you do with your arms. So for this as well, there's two different ways to accomplish this. The most common one is the rowing technique. So think about a ring row, I'm pulling back, I'm pulling to my lower chest slash abs slash hips. Uh, a lot of coaches tell you to pull to your hips when you're doing the muscle up. The other technique is to actually pull behind you. So you would treat it kind of like you would when you're doing that swing, when the rings come behind you and your toes come in front. You'd snap them back as you pop the hips and it would accelerate you up on top a lot faster. Um, that's just a theory. Um, I normally do it the rowing style, so I pull in front and then snap on top. Um, but I'll also demonstrate the one where you snap back behind you. Just to summarize what we've talked about already, uh, the most important thing you need to think about when you're learning your muscle up is the hip drive. That's going to be what really accelerates you and gets you on top of the rings. And again, there's two different ways to accomplish that. You can do it the way where your feet start low and then you pop the hips. In that version, you need a little bit more arm strength or arm power to get you on top. 
For the other version, feet come higher first, and then you open the hips. For that one, it's a little bit more technical, I would say, um, and it relies a little bit more on a bigger swing to get you up there. Again, both work, both are okay. Uh, same for the arm action. You can either do the rowing or the snap back. Both of those work, both of those get you on top of the rings. Uh, test different things out, try it out different ways, see what works for you. You can practice anywhere at any time. Um, I wouldn't re recommend spending too much time on exercises to build up getting a muscle up. I would recommend just practicing it on the rings, just going for it. Even if you fail, uh, working that technique in the swing is going to help you get it overall. You can even work it with a spotter. Someone can kind of pop your back up as you attempt to get on top. I think that's the best way to learn the skill versus trying different exercises on low rings, trying it with bands. Uh, so consider that next time you're practicing your muscle up. Thank you for watching the video. Uh, the muscle up is a very complicated skill to learn just because there's so many different ways you can complete it. Uh, and in an athlete's mind, the idea of how to do it gets a little muddled as they watch different videos and hear from different coaches on how to do it. Uh, I was a gymnast. I've been coaching gymnastics for a few years now. If you have any questions, uh, just leave a comment below. I can, I'd be happy to answer them just because I know it's super complicated. Um, but again, thank you for watching.